Bro, if you put your music on SoundCloud and nobody listens to it, did you really make music? Everything is actually crashing down. Oh my god, a smoke alarm! I could have made like 30 beats by now. Maybe I could use all this anxious energy to create. But what if I have gone to her for hypothyroidism and my life is actually over? Oh my god. What if I like law of attraction and visualize all the best things happening? Or what if I just manifested like all the worst things? Anxious, creative, and black. I'm up in reality and I make beats. And then I sing over them so that people don't steal them. Follow me on IG or check my Beat Stars page. Also, subscribe below. So how do we keep expressing ourselves in a world that is constantly telling us not to, with an amygdala practically the size of a tennis ball begging us to agree? Obviously there's no right way, and I'm not here to tell you that there's a right way. But I can show you what I've learned and discovered, and maybe that'll help you along the way. About me, I've been making music since ever, literally ever. My anxiety really kicked up when I was around 10, pu puberty age. The anxiety makes it super hard to stay consistent. Not good for success in a capitalistic society. I'm sure y'all can relate on some level. It could be about the art itself. Is it impressive enough? What do people think of it? Um, why am I not world famous yet? But there's also external life worries that weigh on us. Our social life, our health, rent is due. No, seriously, rent is due. Get to that Western Union before it closes. Just to let you know, this is centered around the black experience right now. Obviously, you're welcome to keep watching what I'm saying. There's something for everybody, but just don't try to like gentrify it or something. Huh, that's ironic, because where do most of us first hear about gentrification? Rest in peace, John Singleton. Thanks for what you did for us. So we have a rich history of art flowing through our blood right now. Storytelling lies at the heart of blackness, as well as symbology and expression that establishes rich forms of communication and fosters spiritual unity. Now we have the calling to contribute to that, which is dope, but now we have the responsibility to contribute to that. This, of course, in a capitalist, racist society, puts a monkey on our back telling us that we have to put out as much as we can in a little amount of time before it gets destroyed, appropriated, or discredited by some sort of science or mainstream media, whatever, what have you. Now, if your anxiety has gotten bad enough that you could pretty much call it a disorder, now you're exhausted and now you need to lay down and rest. And of course, that brings the worry that you're not cut out for it because you didn't stay up for 70 hours last night like Dr. Dre. But here's the thing we don't consider. Anxiety and creativity are directly linked because they come from the same source, imagination. Studies have been correlating high levels of creativity with mental illness for ages. But let's just say they tread lightly really lightly. We have less than adequate mainstream attention toward black anxiety. On top of that, we have way less financial, social, physical security based on our craft. And that's notwithstanding all the intersectional ramifications of that. So what do we do? Here's what I find we can do to relish in the magic of black creativity without letting the anxiety of it all get the best of us. Seeing your anxiety is a gift and not a curse. I mean, it's an amazing skill to be able to imagine something and evoke an emotional or physical response. Um, can you imagine what you're able to do for this world if you're able to harness that power? Practicing imagining the best result. Practicing. Uh, my mom kind of calls it like, you know, working out like a muscle. Um, it doesn't work every time. You just got to work yourself up to it. It's okay to rest. You don't have to be putting out something all the time to present to everyone to be known as a creative. Yeah, here's a good one. Don't believe what everybody says about law of attraction. Okay, the spirit people especially, we're talking about this all the time, right? You manifest what you think the most about. That's going to kill somebody with anxiety, right? Because they're worried about something and they're worried about having manifested the something that they're worried about. Look, you are not cursing yourself just because you're thinking a lot about the thing that worries you. The universe grants you what you want the intention that you set, not just the thought that comes across your mind, even if it does evoke some kind of emotion or something like that. The vibration of what you want and what you intend is always gonna be stronger than the vibration of your fear. And understand that as a black creative, you're paving the way regardless. There's somebody there that admires you, somebody that's learning from you, somebody that's inspired by you, somebody that's taking notes right now based on what you're doing, you're going to be contributing to the culture no matter what. 
no matter how many people are viewing this right now or recognizing that you are a vital part of the collective consciousness, period. And no matter what statistics tell you, you're not alone. I'm up for reality and those are my thoughts on being anxious, creative, and black. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Beastars, you can find me on SoundCloud, Spotify, whatever would have you, but most importantly, subscribe below to keep hearing my thoughts as a musician and professional life liver and vibe with me on this journey. Do I remember to move my car? Oh, no, 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 no.